Dear friends, Namaste. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Shiva Yoga World and Travel. I am Yoga Charya P R Mohanan. I arrived in uh, Hania in Crete for my yoga holiday for one week. It is seven o'clock in the evening. Roads are very dark. Our taxi started from Hania Airport to Kisamos, where I am going to do my yoga holiday, a small village in Crete. I am looking forward to my yoga holiday. The road is very clear, but uh, dark. Um, night at seven o'clock. Clouds, okay. And uh, finally, we I arrived uh, the. Molo's Beach and Bar Restaurant in Hania. It's a very excellent location. It's a family-run business. Mike, Maria, and her husband, they run this business. They have about uh, nine to 10 rooms available. Very nice restaurant, excellent Greek food. We are in the in coming seven days. We are going to do um, mainly vegetarian food. We have five dinners, breakfast. Lunch is not included in our yoga holiday retreat. Everybody arrived here. They have their own rooms. My room number is one zero two, which is facing to the yoga hall and uh, sea, the Cretan Sea. The food is making here on the left hand side, that's a kitchen. And uh, uh, they carry the food, they make the food there and they take the food to the restaurant to serve the people. This is the front area of the beach, uh, Molos Beach Restaurant and uh, Yoga Retreat Center. As I told you before, it's a family run business. In front of the road is the old road, which is going, if you turn left, that goes to the old town of Kisamos and old road, you can see it. It is around uh, 8.30 in the evening. This is one of the staff serving uh, food. He's a, uh, you know, uh, waiter. And he said hello to me. And he showed his, uh, the, the food he's going to serve the customers. That's a very nice greet and Cake, cheesecake with the honey and uh, some creams. I'm just to take you into my room. There's a Buddha there. Very nice and bright. There are staff working in the restaurant. Nice young girls, gay girl. They are very polite and very, you know, serving people very nice. They're very friendly. They're helping their customers. Now that step going to my room and there are other rooms also, which is other yoga holiday makers staying uh, that other rooms. This is the view from the corridor uh, in the upstairs. Uh, now I'm taking you to the, my room. This is my room. Just uh, going to open, uh, just open the door 102. It's a very simple room, uh, nicely presented, neat and clean, tidy. Um, but and nice and that's the bathroom very simple very yogic simple uh, lifestyle um, this is very good for me it's a luxury for me a simple way of life which all is yoga is about simple living is high thinking so just to showing you around there's a television but uh, I never use that television Never ever. There's a wardrobe. You can, I can put my clothes there. The small, just tiny bed there. I can put some other belongings uh, at the bed. This is so simple, you know. And I need to take you to outside. Just to, if you, I open my room and uh, go out. That is the yoga hall where I'm going to teach yoga uh, in the morning. And uh, just in front of the sea, you can see the Cretan Sea. 
So we are doing the yoga just uh, in front of the sea. How beautiful is that? Everybody in the group is very excited. They are all looking forward to my yoga class in the morning tomorrow. Um, we are starting yoga tomorrow early in the morning, 6.30. We are divided into two groups. 6.30 to 7.30 is uh, intermediate level and then 7.30 to 9.30 is uh, general class which is basically yoga for beginner, yoga for back, yoga for relaxation and we do some breathing and meditation and relaxation at the end. Just showing you around, I just showing you the, uh, the, the view of the sea again, very closer. There's uh, lights, some flies flying around there, you can see that. So excited, weather is so nice, about 23, 26 centigrade. In the night, a little bit cooler, about uh, 16 to 18 degrees centigrade. That's the weather like here. So everything is prepared, yoga, mats, like, uh, you know, yoga, you know, you know already the Moros uh, Yoga Resort, they provide uh, yoga mats, yoga blocks, trips, and uh, some pillows to support. Uh, that's uh, all about, uh, you know. Mm, I'm just uh, going inside the room from the back side, showing you. Now again, I'm showing you the room once again. It's so nice, uh, you know. I quite like this. Is my this is my seventh time in Crete. This is uh, after having the dinner. I just. Uh, went out in the restaurant, I just went out where all these uh, birds and uh, umbrellas are keeping in the nearby the uh, sea. So people can go stay there, go swimming in the sea and then rest and they can sunbathe and all this thing. This night time is still, yeah, about uh, 10 past 9 or half past 9, I'm not sure, um, dark. But uh, just because of my excitement, I just... Uh, wanted to show you around all this place it's an amazing place you know uh, um, you know the you know um, it's a place is good food is good our yoga we do morning three hours yoga practice evening three hours yoga practice and before we go to bed we have a yogic sleep a relaxation relaxation technique which is very useful for our good sleep and the well-being Next day morning, I was preparing to go for a walk alongside the beach. Uh, it's a long walk from the, my resort, Molo's Beach Restaurant and Yoga Resort. This is the front view. Uh, sun is so bright, sun is shining, blue sky, nice weather, little warmer, 28 degrees centigrade. This is side part of the uh, Molo's uh, Yoga Resort. From this way, I can go walk down to the beach. And uh, I decided to take a long uh, walk uh, through one end to other end of this uh, beach. It takes, uh, I think, uh, it takes about uh, two, two and a half hours, you know. This is the, my, the view I am showing you is the view on my walk uh, by the side of the sea. You can see uh, the waves, uh, blues, blue ocean waves are, a, you know, very pleasant. Um, you know, you can see at the end, there's a mountain there and uh, some artwork, graffiti artwork uh, by uh, some, you know, some Greek artists. You can see some hotels and uh, restaurants and flats on the corner there. There are a lot of places like that here. Uh, it's very nice to see the sea, you know, and the uh, blue sea and the blue sky, nice weather. Little bit warmer, but uh, very enjoyable. It's not that too hot, you know. Uh, now nearly tour season is going to end because the uh, October, November time um, less busy. Uh, so, and then after that, uh, it closed for three, four months and then back to normal again on May and April like that. On the way my on the way of my walk, I experience, I see a lot of uh, 
you know buildings lot of uh, buildings under constructions buildings under refurbishment i also come across with a lot of restaurants fish restaurants and a lot of flats renting flats for rent a lot of holiday makers there here and there walking around uh, having sun bath and all these things i quite enjoying as a solo uh, walking uh, you know walker you know it's a uh, it's one of my hobbies one of my interest uh, it's so nice that tree is very nice so pretty so and by the sea by the side of the sea and tree there's a, a fish tower and there a fish restaurant that i am showing you around this is about the midday uh, around 11 o'clock 10 or 20 past 11 something like that so very quiet people may start to come in one hour time and then it's going to be very very busy mainly in the lunch time dinner time it's very busiest time of all the restaurants people go out holiday makers they come and sit there having a good time having nice food talk you know drink some uh, greek wine some beer etc you can see the the the, the bushes the plants a little bit dancing because of the let's say some uh, it's not that big uh, wind a uh, uh, nice breeze uh, which is very uh, comfortable there are a lot of restaurants on the way i can see the fish tavern it's established 1960 more than more than 60 years old wow that's uh, one of the oldest restaurant isn't it in that uh, kismos uh, in the Christmas village. Christmas is a very beautiful village. One side is sea, behind is a mountain, in between is the village. There's another fish tavern. Everything is uh, empty right now because uh, people, uh, you know, it's uh, 11 o'clock, 11, 10, 20 past 7, something like that. People definitely start to come, maybe after 11, 12 o'clock going to be very busy, a lot of people will come having their food and lunch, etc. It's nice to see or nice to experience the melodious uh, sound of the waves when we walk uh, alongside the beach. People have, the people of the Kisamos, or especially Crete Kisamos, they have very good, uh, relaxed, uh, life very good laid back uh, village people do not have much hassle and bustle, bustle. a lot of people are farmers and uh, most of the income generating from farming which is uh, olive tree plantations and also tourism a lot of people come here for one week two weeks one month six months people come for more than you know long long time now 16 years 20 years five years I am myself is seven year, eight years now in uh, uh, Creed, you know, uh, seven year in uh, Kisamos and uh, one year another village in uh, not far from Kisamos, a village called uh, uh, Astrigas. So that's a place I use, uh, that's first uh, my yoga holding. And after that, I keep uh, coming here uh, in Kisamos in Molo's uh, beach, restaurant, bar, and a yoga holiday place. So my walk is in, like, in nearly about 20 minutes, uh, to, more than 20 minutes. Um, I walked, you know. So um, just showing you around all these uh, restaurants, fish taverns, uh, little flats for sale, flats for sell, renting and all this is a very good uh, place to you know if you really really want to enjoy the sun food and the weather people they are all very good uh, you don't even believe it so i just i strongly recommend people you know people go to spain people go to here and there all over the world but this is also a very good place to 
just chill out and relax you know uh so how we think about maybe next you go your holiday will be uh, in kesamos uh, a town in crete or some other part of the crete is a beautiful place i say another flats you can see that's for renting uh, and also they have some restaurant there again they built for the holiday makers from all over the world especially people from you know from uh, europe or even people from greek or uh, mainland as you know crete is an island is a is not a, in the mainland of greece is an is an is a greek one of the greek islands but they speak a uh, greece language and the food is very similar to uh, uh, you know similar greek style food and also crete and it's a, it's a part it's a crete the name of the island is called crete but they have a special cuisine for you know cretean people the people from crete is called cretarian crete in something like that so i just uh, uh going passing through some places where people can you know how we take a red there's some places you can you know, have a, after a long walk they can sit there and uh, you know there are a lot of beach around there there's a playing ground for children and uh, you know family take the children and then they can go and have a uh, you know rest and relax there there's a, a guard safe guard uh, they're looking for uh, the people you know they're rescuing the people they always alert and uh, some people are doing the sun bed there it's amazing yeah you, you can see that there's some chairs and some tables there you can sit have a glass of wine or beer or just chill out the day watching your phone or watching the nature etc Yeah, as I told you before, it's a uh, nearly holiday season coming to an end. A uh, little bit uh, let uh, less less busy. Um, from um, November onwards, uh, going to be the winter season starting. This is the other side of the uh, place. Uh, the you know mountains and some churches uh, are just we seen. This is the seaside. Uh, some. Uh, you know umbrellas there some shed there people can relax there it, i do remember that shed used to be a small kiosk like a small shop selling drinks and all these things some snacks but uh, i don't know what happened it's empty it seems like empty maybe they're going to make it uh, reopen maybe next uh, holiday season very big tree i quite like that tree so Uh, nice i see uh, every time i come so is always there a lot of trees like this uh, here in kesamos there's some lot of flowers old uh, fashion lamps in the road side some vehicle going here and there they're going to create you no know, kesamos or the houses and flats uh, locals live there this is other side of the sea which is mountain you can see a lot of houses flats you know so you know if you is a i think it's not expensive to come here it's a very reasonable price you can get a, every facility you, if you want to get a private beach with a resort private beach with a flats all this available here or you want to go to little busier area a lot of people interact with a lot of people it's also available this is another uh, flats it seems yeah it's already opened still some work is going on but uh, you know uh, you know people as i told you uh, told you before uh, one of the way to generate income is the tourism uh, inviting a lot of holiday makers to their town their village in kesamos this is a football is a sports and game uh, ground Uh, mainly they do a lot of activity basketball uh but then uh, football then games sports running and all these thing that's uh, that stadium they built it for it's amazing so the stadium is just near to the 
like uh, seaside so they can have a good uh, exercise running and after that they jump into the sea have a swimming hole you know sunbath and then take a nice how beautiful life is that isn't it uh, after come back, come back from work go to the stadium have some sports and games then swimming in the sea and having a nice food at the restaurant nice fish is very delicious here you know i like fish i don't eat meat chicken or uh, but i i started to eat a fish 8 years ago now maybe more right or 9 years 9 years ago 10 years ago uh, now fish is my favorite all the food here is very healthy you know uh, another set of flats there you can see this is uh, uh, now my journey is uh, almost half way through on my journey you know uh, just uh, passing i'm still sometime i walking alongside the sea sometime i walking slightly away from the sea so that i can uh, share with you both side sea side and uh, just uh, outside of the sea side which is a lot of restaurants buildings flats etc you can see uh, it, it's a enjoyable walk so every time as i told you before seventh time i am visiting kisamos day one this is the day one i, I choose this path from molos beach uh, uh, restaurant and uh, yoga resort after the yoga class and breakfast i decided to go for walk now that the day one i go walk uh, in this uh, uh, way you know on the beach side it's takes a, it's a long beach so as i told in the beginning it takes about uh, if you a slow walker it takes about 3 hours if you go a little bit faster it may take 2 hours and if you do walking plus doing videoing it may be take uh, <laughs> uh, i don't know more than 3 hours is a long walk anyway you know so uh, i'm t- for time wise i am okay because uh, my next class uh, the evening is 4:30 so i think i have plenty of time uh, i can i to come back the same way you know um i don't want to catch taxi or bus or any other transportation so i like watch uh, i like walking so this is uh, now I, what i'm doing is i'm going to uh, walking alongside the right in front of the sea by the side of the sea so this is a beautiful restaurant a you know resort renting flats all these things and that that the place uh, people doing sunbath etc i i didn't want to take them uh, take the pictures too much which is not good so i just uh, finish uh, this area and then i go into next uh, side so this is uh, one side is uh, mountain and the cretan sea and the waves are very, very shiny very powerful it's not that strong or but it looks nice uh, very pleasant a lot of uh, nice you know another huge tree you can see there uh, it's amazing the, the the mountains are very interesting because they don't have much uh, trees there but it's a different types of beauty if you really a uh, true nature lover you can enjoy that but uh, it say that 7 or 5 million years or 10 million years ago this all place the one support part of the sea covered with sea and now sea withdrawed and now is in the land that what to say that because of the lot of survey the fossil days start to this found out the skeleton of whales and shark they found out around here so this is so the the wind is the very nice breeze uh this is i like this tiny house this is made with the uh, rocks and some twigs some uh, you know small woods etc uh, i think it's a, like a lifeguard room you know like it's a, some private place for the you know private resort so somebody they uh, um, appointing some lifeguards to look at the you know watch the, the whole trip 
breakers, uh, uh, checking whether they are safe or not and all these things. And then I decided to walk in alongside the sea and uh, on the right hand side you can see, you can see a wall there and the building. That wall, inside the wall, a building that used to be, I believe that this used to be a, a factory, something like that. And now it's completely out of order. That's not uh, working anymore. It's completely, you know, that's all run out. All the buildings are collapsing. Uh, so I believe that uh, it is not in use. This is a ship. Uh, I don't know that ship is uh, not using because half one side of the ship is under the water, outside is above the water, and there's another ship close by. And after I pass through that building, this is a small family run restaurant here, very beautiful. And you can sit out for having a dinner. Again, it's the afternoon time, uh, maybe busy in the dinner time, lunch time. Look nicely presented, very quiet. We can walk through in between these uh, tables, you know, like that. That's a uh, uh, public path. Nobody will uh, tell you anything. So you can walk uh, through that uh, corridor. Uh, some people, some customers are already there, but it's not that busy, you know, as I told you. Because you're going to be busy maybe after, you know, maybe 5 o'clock, you know, until 10 o'clock, like that. So nice, some evo the boat uh, they showing there. Uh, you, you should come one day here and explore this beautiful island. I met a, a, bit, a nice, uh, a, a cute fellow there. Say hello to him, uh, I don't know him or she. Uh, he, you know, so it's a nice uh, pet. Lot of tables and chairs waiting for the customers, uh, you know, so nice. I just uh, passing through this restaurant, going to just uh, get uh, out from the restaurant. This is the back side. I just uh, showing that the place I come from. Now I'm heading to uh, the the final destination of uh, my trip. Uh, my just walking after the class. This is so exciting, you know. Some ancient building there. I, I think there's a ancient ruins. It's not in work, maybe 400, 500 years old building. It's like, the, it's, for me, it uh, looks like a ancient uh, ruins, isn't it? I feel like that myself. So, so exciting. So I don't know much about uh, the history behind that building, but uh, I feel that is some part of history behind this. Uh, anyway, it's not a modern building. It's maybe more than minimum hundred years old. You know, more than hundred years old. My guess is maybe three hundred, four hundred years old. So I just uh, excited this uh, my walking because uh, day one I just uh, go for walk. This uh, day one I do I just uh, I do it again. You know, like I every time I come here, I do my walk. Nice. Uh, Gas, uh, nice pebbles, stones. Some one side of the beach is uh, full of that flower. Is uh, flower grow in the hot place? Very typical flower, and some other flower also. Flowers. Uh, so some uh, some of the flower. That flowers uh, we can see in the desert areas. That whitish color flower. Very very nice. Uh, it can survive the whole season. Look at the uh, the seaside. There are a lot of uh, uh, rocks and uh, stones there. It's not that easy to walk. But I have a very strong trainees, so I can walk comfortably. But uh, for a time being, I change my route slightly away from the beach. I use the the um, uh, footpath. Even the footpath is uh, uh, with a lot of stones, and uh, you know you can see that there. One side is uh, bushes, and the uh, other side is a uh, beach, and with the stones and all these things. And some points you can see small, small beaches there also. Um, this is, uh, I just uh, still keep walking uh, uh, alongside the road. At the road, there are some 
uh, rend, uh, building for rending, some flats for rending. Just uh, showing you a a a, a close uh, clip. A worn out board there under a tree. A lot of exciting things, you know. Sometimes I, I hardly see people because it's too hot. Uh, so that uh, maybe people are not uh, walking there. But uh, in the some points, the beach, people are, I can see some people are have sunbath, etc. Apartments for, for rent, that's uh, all the makers. Uh, this, these areas are uh, some private places, you know. Mm, you can... Uh, you, you, if you want to a quiet, peaceful pl place, this is an this area of the Kismus ideal. Where I start my journey is there are a lot of restaurants, a lot of uh, resorts, you know, a lot of, uh, it's quite busy, busy area, which is most people like it. A lot of nice beaches there, but this is quite private, uh, a little bit quieter uh, than the other place where I started. Uh, you can have a private place, uh, flat, resort, uh, houses for rent, and you can stay there, having your food, sun baths, swimming, and all this. You know, this area is completely private area, but uh, public can also use that one. I I I think that may be a little bit uh, expensive that uh, the other places. And these places how some of the resorts have or some of the flats have their own swimming pool also. Look at that, some big, big uh, flats, houses there. There's also resorts. They have also swimming pool. And so, they get it. My final destination is very nearly there. Where I used to go for day one. That's a camping site. You can camping. You can, uh, you know, like like youth hostels, room for rent and all these things. After this, there's a restaurant. There's a restaurant I go all the time for after at the end of the walk. I after this camping site, there's a restaurant. I will show you in a couple of minutes time, couple of second time. And uh, I have a nice food there. And. Uh, Mainly I eat, uh, I like a Greek salad, my favorite. And then I, ha I like the fish, like a anchovies fish, but uh, you know, the pronunciation I'm making may be slightly different. So anchovies, small fishes, you know, fried fishes. Uh, they co it comes with the bread and all, all these things. And I sit there. I did tell the staff, I did tell them I am the, this is my seventh uh, time, no, no, eighth time in that restaurant, but they don't recognize me. You know, last time I come to that restaurant, I will show you in a few minutes that restaurant. Mm, last time, 2022, now 2024. That building, that small houses, is uh, houses uh, for the tomato, they cultivate tomato there with a special uh, climate again you can i'm showing you the uh, the sea or oh, sea is my passion even even if i don't swim in the sea uh, but sea is always my passion this is a restaurant i'm showing you there and uh, showing a selfie a selfie video i am making i, I am having a orange juice there to start with it's a nice place uh, I do recommend everybody to come here. Very nice, excellent food. Uh, when you have time, uh, and come here for once and then enjoy the your rest of the days. Anyway, Kisamos is an amazing place for holiday makers. It boosts your energies, brings out a positivity. You feel very good. And this restaurant, I strongly recommend. I on the way back to my morals. I've met uh, some friends here, some sheep, some goats. They say hello to me. <laughs> they are very cute. Uh, they, they're talking something to me. I, I just say hello. Uh, poor fellows, you know. <laughs> uh, it was a great journey. It made my day. I had to do my next year class at 4.30 p.m. today. I have plenty of time. 